Hello everyone and welcome to the One Man Renegade Podcast YouTube channel. I'm your host, the Honorable Greg B, and today we are doing some hockey. We're moving on to 1996 Series 2 of Upper Deck. Uh, if you missed any of the previous 1996 hockey-related uh, bo box openings, go check it out up there. While you're at it, if you're new to the channel, head on down, hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the notification bell. Hit the thumbs up because I know you're going to like the video. Then share it with everyone that you know because I know they're going to like it too. Also, head down to the description and check out my links for my podcast and my blog and my other social media. Also, head on in the comments below. Let me know what you think about uh, 1996 Upper Deck or hockey or whatever. Wayne Gretzky. I don't know. Whatever you want to talk about, say hello down in the comments below. All right, so this is a 1996-97 Series 2 Upper Deck um, retail box, as you can see there. Uh, I believe there are 36 packs in here, although I don't think it says anywhere on the box. So if for some reason there's not, uh, we'll figure it out. But uh, there's some odds and stuff, so we should get some cool stuff, hopefully. I don't know, like back in the day, re retail versus hobby i don't really know exactly what that entailed i think it just meant they had different inserts if nothing else because i don't there's no autographs or like relics or anything in this um as far as i know so it's not like with hobby boxes these days you're guaranteed more autographs or relics than you would in a retail um scenario but i don't really know uh it might just be a difference of what they what they sent them to but i, I don't really know what the difference was in 1996 i'll be honest um but i think yeah i think basically it's just there was different insert sets depending on if you got hobby or retail. That's pretty much it. So, the big cards we're looking for today in this and over the course of the next few weeks uh, is the Joe Thornton rookie card. And also his longtime teammate, but no longer teammate, uh, Patrick Marlowe. An interesting turn of fate. Um, so, Patrick Marlowe, so Joe Thornton got traded from the Bruins to the Sharks 2004. Five, I want to say it was and it's been there ever since up until about two like a month ago or so where he finally said goodbye and signed with the Maple Leafs now Patrick Marlowe had played his whole career with the Sharks up until a few years ago when he signed with the Maple Leafs but then he came back but they got traded to Pittsburgh but then he just resigned so they're still playing which is crazy to think about but um all right so we're gonna do one stack today and then uh we'll come back Another stack next week, and so forth and so on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are 28 packs in this box. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, yeah, I guess there's 28 packs in this box. That's weird. That's a weird number. Uh, but okay, 28 packs. So we'll do seven packs today. Seven packs. Uh, that's a, yeah, I don't know. Retail's weird, I guess. 28? I've never, I don't think I've ever seen that number before. Uh, but all right, let's do it. Let's rip into these. We're also looking for, obviously, uh, inserts. Uh, I don't know if they have the, oh yeah, they have the odds down there. So we're looking for some of those. Those uh, heart hopeful silvers would be nice. The heart hopeful golds. I don't know about that, but um, oh, there are jerseys possible in this. Hmm. One in 2,500. Uh, so the chances of getting one aren't good, but th they do exist. Now, I don't know if the odds were then better in the, uh, in the hobby, maybe? I don't know. That could be what it is. Uh, but anyways, uh, 12 cards per pack. We're obviously looking for also, you know, stars and there's also a couple of minor, you know, rookies that, of name. Um, you could start off Joe Sack. That's a nice start. He's a Hall of Famer, I, I'm sure. Actually, I'm not 100% sure who's in the Hockey Hall of Fame, but I'm pretty sure if anyone, if he, if there is one, he is in it. <laughs> I mean, I know there is one. Pretty sure he's in it. But anyways, uh, Claude Lemieux, uh, Braddock Bonk, uh, like I said, a couple other uh, minor rookies to look for. Frederick Modine, Thomas Holstrom are also in this. Arthur's Herbe, Roussan Soleil. These are not the easiest cards to read the names of i'll be honest and the, they have that weird sideways thing going on like 2020 tops baseball does uh, but mike gartner uh ryan shepherd there's the thomas holstrom i was just talking about that's his rookie card all right there um and we got dave what is that dave ellett so the rookie cards um 
as, as I pop this one up, uh, they're actually not their rookie year uh, for Sackick or no for Thornton and uh, and uh, Marlowe. They're actually like Team Canada cards, uh, so that's what we'll be looking for. Uh, Team Canada cards. Uh, there's Andrew Ference, of course. He was a uh, a Bruin when was on that Cup winning team. I'm a Bruins fan, so I mean he's bounced around a few different teams, but I obviously remember him on the. Uh, Bruins. Uh, there's got Steve Duchesne, and then we have a Generation Next, Sergey Berezin, and Bernie Nichols insert. All right, moving along. We got uh, Nelson Emerson, Jose Teodore, Ted Donato, Stefan Mateo, uh, Richard Zednik. Then we got Sergei Zubov, Sergei Berezin. Uh, I think that's his rookie card too. Uh, Jim Campbell, Brian Berard, Brian Smolinski. Funny story about Brian Smolinski, I'll tell in a second. Uh, Scott, that guy, and then Jason Ward. Um, so Brian Smolinski... If you ever played the NHL 95, I think it is. He's on the Bruins. And for some reason, if you go to switch out Smolinski and Cam Neely, they're on the same line. But if you, for some reason, want to switch them left wing, right wing, instead of switching them, it will just add an extra Brian Smolinski. Uh, if you've ever played NHL 95 or the Sega Genesis, go check it out. And then he, but like, he's really, he's like not controllable and he's just like wandering around like, like, celebrating a goal that was scored even though the goal wasn't scored it's really weird alexander Slanoff, uh scott stevens stefan mateo again ted donato again uh steve stios 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 um bernie nichols then we got uh brian berard again sergey zubov again <laughs> we're always getting already getting some repeats there daniel Gan gano uh rhett warner we got uh, Felix Potvin on Ice Insight. I think that's just a subset. I don't think it's a... Uh, and then we got uh, Pierre, Luke, that guy. Um, all right. Keep it going. Keep it going. Starting things off with Team Mussolini. He's a, he's a big star back in those days. Eric LaCroix. Uh, then Roussan Soleil. Radic Bonk again. Uh, then we got Darren Turcott, followed up with uh, Stefan Berquist, Thomas Holstrom again, Mike Gartner, uh, Ryan Smith, then we got Brian Leach, uh, who's this, Jeremy Reich, and an on ice insight of Roman Hammerlick. All right. Keep it going. Uh, we got Chris Gratton, Brian Ralston, uh, Nicholas Anderson. No, no real word yet. Mark Messier. There we go. No real word yet on when hockey's gonna start. I mean, I'm recording this a few weeks ahead of time, I guess, um, to when it's actually gonna go live. But uh, Pavel Bure, Kevin, Kevin Miller. Hmm, that's interesting. There's another Kevin Miller. Currently playing for the Bruins. Uh, Keith Primo. Gary Curry. Carl Dykus. Dykus. I don't know. Mike Sollinger. Then we got Chris, uh, Chris Huron and a generation next of Chris Gratton and uh, Rick Tockick. All right. So like I was saying, um, uh, you know, I, no real word of when the NHL is going to start back up, and ba basketball finally got around to announcing their starting right before Christmas, which is huge for them, obviously. Uh, but for hockey, they haven't really said. Uh, it's looking like sometime in January, uh, I'm guessing. Uh, Jeff Friesen, Todd Bertuzzi, and we got uh, Hanat. I'm not even going to bother. Not even try. Uh, Corey Millen. Steve Thomas, David Wilkie, uh, Shane Doan, followed up by Jeremy Roenick. Put from Roenick down there. 
when he was on the Coyotes. Uh, Mike Sillinger. Then we got this Rod Brindamore Power Performers. It's kind of like a... I don't know if you can tell, but it's like raised. It's like a raised. It's interesting. Some sort of insert. Uh, Roman Hamlick again. And Chris Huron again. All right, last pack for today. Well, again, if you haven't yet, please subscribe, like, share. Uh, come back next week for part two. But come back every day for more videos. I'm always posting videos. We got Brett Hall right there. That's a good one. Uh, Valerie Bure. Put him down with his brother. Of course, he's married to Cameron. Camden. Wow. Cameron. Wow, I can't even talk. Candace Cameron of uh, Full House fame. Of course, she's Candace Cameron Bure now. Or just maybe Candace Bure. I don't even know. Uh, who's, uh, uh, Mike? No, what's his name? Mike from the Seavers. What, what's his name? That Cameron. <laughs> I, I, it's too early right now. I'm recording this way too early in the morning. Uh, Darren Poopa, Matthias Nordstrom, David Wil Wilkie again. Uh, then we got Steve Thomas, uh, that guy. Nye Nermanen. Is that how you say it? Mike Greer, Brian Leach, Carl Dykehouse, um, Pierre, Luke, that guy, and Jeremy Rake. All right, there we go, everyone. Thank you for uh, Kirk Cameron is who I was thinking of, by the way. Kirk Cameron, Candace Cameron, they're related somehow. I don't know if they're brother and sister or cousins or something. I don't remember. Candace Cameron married Valerie Burry. Valerie Burry, obviously Pavel Burry's brother. There we go. Figured it all out. It's all in the family this week. Um, not the not the show. I, I'm just babbling. All right, everyone, thank you for watching. Come back next week. We'll open some more packs. Seven packs? What is that? Seven, 28 packs on a box? What, I've, I've never seen that before. Uh, but everyone, anyways, thank you everyone for watching. Come back next week. Stay safe. Have fun. And we'll talk to you then.